Hey guys. So in this video, we're going to be sharing with you our new and updated 4231 custom tactics, and we hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. So if you're keen on using the 4231, then we do recommend you use these tactics and instructions. So in order for us to keep producing videos like this, then we do need your support. So make sure that you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notifications bell so that you know when we release new content. So the 4-2-3-1, obviously one of the most popular formations in the game, and it's a formation that I always go back to when I'm struggling. You know, whenever I'm going through a little bit of a period where I'm just kind of not getting the results, just things aren't quite clicking, maybe a new patch comes in and things just aren't quite working how they used to be. This is always a great formation just to kind of fall back into. It's a tough formation to break down, and it's just super, super reliable. It's one of those formations that never lets you down. It's Like I said, it's tough people to break down. It's good offensively. It's great for sort of my play style as well, someone that likes to play possession, that likes to move the ball, that likes to dominate the ball. It's just a very reliable formation. I recommend if you're someone that struggles, this is always a good formation to have as one of your game plans. It's always a great formation to change into. And moving into the tactics, these are the tactics that I recommend using for the 4-2-3-1. In terms of defensive style, pretty much for all formations, we're always going to recommend balance. There's no need to go on any kind of a press. In terms of defensive width, I think 50. Again, we always like to use sort of around about 45 to 55. I think 50 is just good for this formation. You know, whenever I've used it, I don't tend to tinker around with that defensive width. I don't think it makes too much difference. Depth, we've got weirdly on 63. I'm not quite sure why way out on 63 but around about 60 to 65 I think is good in this formation um, it's already quite a defensive formation obviously with the back four with the two defensive midfielders it's quite the setup is quite tough to break down and it's quite compact so we recommend having a slightly higher depth when you play on something like 50 in a formation like this what can often happen is that it's too defensive and it's very very hard to score goals because it's really quite defensive it's tough to get up the field unless you're like super uh, good at retaining the ball you've got to move up the field quite a lot so we recommend playing on around about 65 you know just kind of negate some of that natural team positioning in terms of the build-up play, there's a couple different ways you can play this formation. I personally like to play it in the balanced and direct passing. This sort of combination, I think, works for a lot of formations. You've probably seen this in a lot of our formations, and that's because it works really well. Another one that does work quite well is fast build-up, and actually then with possession or balanced in the chance creation. That is another way you can play this formation. The only reason why I don't personally like playing this way is it's when you start to play elite level competition you know when you if you're someone that's up in division one elite division you're at the high echelons you know the high skill rating in foot champions that's when this combination can come unstuck because you come up against a lot of people that do sit deep and just counter so when you're playing sort of average level players this sort of combination is great but against those top level players it's just not quite what you need. You know, it just opens you up too easily. And those players obviously have the quality to be able to, uh, you know, exploit that space that you've sort of unnecessarily given them. So it's not a formation. It's not a set of instructions that we recommend against top level players, but against average level players, it's great. So moving back to why we like balance and direct. The reason why I prefer this one is because you only go ag aggressive and attacking in the final third rather than going sort of aggressive from, you know, your own half or the halfway line and potentially, you know, you lose the ball on the halfway line, you get counted like that. Whereas if I lose the ball at the opponent's box, you know, there's still plenty of time. There's still 70, 80 yards for me to be able to recover and get back in some sort of defensive shape. So I think this is just a much better setup against all, you know, skill levels of opposition. In terms of offensive width, we also like around about 65 in this formation. You know, those wide cams do need to play with a little bit of width, you know, because obviously it's a very compact formation. You don't want everything to be too narrow together. You need a little bit of width, so obviously you need some pace out in those wide cam positions. But having a little bit of width out there is very, very important because, you know, you don't want to become predictable in your attacking game just by attacking through the middle all the time. And then players in the box, we like around about five. We like our instructions to really dictate who goes where. Corners we have on three, but if you are someone that does really uh, struggle from counterattacks or you're a little bit concerned about conceding counterattacks, then you can leave this on one. We just like it on three, just to give us that little option to cross it into the box if need be. So before we continue, if you would like us to make more videos like this, then make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you comment below right now with your questions and thoughts on what other videos you would like to see going forward, because we always like to look at the comments to see what you guys suggest for us to make. So let's jump into the instructions with this formation. 
So like with all of our formations, of course, the goalkeeper is going to be on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. Pretty much the standard stuff, but we like to control our keeper in certain moments, so that does make him a little bit better. But sweeper keeper is very, very important. In terms of the two centre-backs, we've, of course, on got on stay back while attacking. If you are someone that does struggle a little bit defensively, you can have these guys on conservative interceptions. I don't think this is really important in this sort of a formation because it's already quite... Uh, defensive in the way it's set up you know in some more aggressive formations that might not have dms for example you like a 4-3-3-4 i'd recommend conservative inceptions but in a formation like this it's probably not super relevant but if you are someone that struggles that's definitely something to bear in mind in terms of the fullbacks obviously mendy and lorente the two fullbacks want on stay back while attacking which is just pretty much the standard stuff with any kind of back four you know we don't think in this in this instance you need the fullbacks to go forwards it's not quite suiting the game at the moment from from my own experience when i have had the fullbacks on balance it doesn't really seem to they really seem to get involved offensively but they do sort of leave that space defensively so i recommend just staying on stay back just give you that solid foundation in terms of the two CDMs, now the way that I like to play with my defensive midfielders is I like to just have them as sort of balanced midfielders. You know, I don't like them on stay back. The reason why I don't like them personally on stay back while attacking, this is when I find formations like this too defensive. You know, you have the fullbacks staying back, you have the defensive midfielders staying back, so you have six players staying back and that four up front. Now, for some people, that works. You've got to have the right combination of players. You've got to be able to abuse the meta very well. You've got to have very specific players. You've got to have very top tier, high meta players to play that sort of four six split because you don't have too many bodies going forward. So I personally don't like playing with them on stay back. I prefer them sort of being balanced a little bit higher at the field because we've got the fullbacks on stay back. We're never in so much of a, a defensive problem. You know, it's never really much of an issue. And I also personally prefer them to be on balanced defensive. So then I am the one that's controlling where they go and how they cut the passing lanes, not cut passing lanes all the time. When you have one cut passing lanes, they'll do it all the time. And sometimes you don't need them to do that. Sometimes you just need them to stay in position. So the only thing that we really changed here is just having them on cover center. In terms of the central cam, we've just got him on get into the box. Now, I would also recommend that this central cam is the best player in your team. For me, Lewandowski is by far the best player in the team. You know, we've got like 100 goals on him now, or 100 goals and assists in like 42 games or something, which is mental. So I'd recommend your best player be the guy that plays this cam position because this guy is the one who gets most of the chances. Generally, they're the ones that scores most of the goals. So I recommend this person is your best player. And again, in terms, terms of the wide players, now we have them on comeback on defense. This was mainly I needed to do this when I was again playing against high level players. So when you're playing against high level competition, I needed that comeback on defense because they were just sort of ripping me apart in certain instances. And it just made me a little bit more solid defensively against the average player. You can just have this on basic defense. It's only when you come up against someone that is very high skill level or someone that's very, very good for your skill level. That's maybe when you need them on that. But generally, you can just have them on balance. The only negative to having them on comeback on defense is when you do win possession of the ball, you don't have many players up the field. So that's why I would probably recommend them on basic and maybe only if you're playing certain foot champs games, maybe a clutch foot champs games, for example, changing them to stay back while attacking and then of course with your striker now much like your wide cams that have failed to mention just there you need to have pace you need to have pace in the left cam the right cam and your striker especially with the meta now being changed those three positions need to have good pace and good dribbling because those guys are obviously going to be your guys that run in behind and then the cam i.e our best player which was Lewandowski is the one that's going to run on to a lot of the cutbacks from the wide players and also is the one that's going to link up well with your striker it doesn't need to have pace or central cam but your striker needs to have good pace needs to have good dribbling and of course needs to be very confident at finishing so having one stay central and getting behind just really works well for this set of instructions so that is it for the 4-2-3-1 we really love this formation it is just such a reliable formation always a go-to whenever you're struggling it's just that formation you can get into you know get sort of get back in some sort of form get some confidence back into your game get some wins under your belt and then you can branch out back into some other formations so i recommend always having a formation like this in your game plan somewhere it's so reliable and just one of those formations you need to use so as we said earlier in the video if you want to continue to make more videos like this then we do need your support so make sure you smash the like button make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on that notifications bell and if there's any questions you want to ask us let us know down in the comment section or you can join our discord the links to everything is in the description so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one